Right, hey everyone. Um, it's been a little while since I've been doing any um, projects and stuff like that. Uh, certainly posting on YouTube. Um, the last thing I did was my Neptune video, I believe. Oh no, probably working on the WrestleMania. The WrestleMania. WrestleFest video. I'll get it right in a minute. Um, oh, hey Hugo. How's it going? Um, so what I've been wanting to do for a long time, I've been really putting off, is changing the battery in my black all-in-one Marvel vs. Capcom CPS2 board, um, which is very cool. My dog's trying to crawl up onto my lap. Um, rather than having the A and the B board, it's all combined, um, and it's in a metal case. They only did these, uh, only a few of the games were done in these um, all-in-one formats, and they're all Japanese as well. Uh, there was never any US or EU, so all the games are in Japanese as well, all the, the writing, uh, say the story parts of this game. Right, so as you can see, this battery was last replaced in 2011. The guy I bought it from off the Arcade Otaku, Otaku forum uh, is the one who changed the battery, I believe, um, and I don't know, this is quite scary to me in a way to uh, change the batteries on because you have to change them while the game is on. If the battery is taken out and charge is not going to the board, um, it dumps the encryption ROM um, data as far as I know. Uh, so you have to change these batteries while the game's on. Um, it shouldn't be too hard, it'll just be a matter of propping the game up. Um, I've, as you see, I've got my TV and my super gun set up here so I can keep an eye on it um, that the game's still on and everything while I change the battery. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to somehow make a bit of room, get my soldier and iron out, say prop this in a nice secure way. But I'll show you the game, I've shown it on another video. But It's a wicked game, I love this fighting game. Uh, the only other one I've got left now is Street Fighter Alpha, um, which is Phoenix. I do love that one as well. Um, but yeah, this one I really do enjoy. It, I can't beat the last boss though, Onslaught. Solid. So there we go. As you can see, oh, they, it looks rather blue on the uh, video, but that level is very blue. It's uh, sort of a, on a moon. Um, yeah, it's quite quite dark. The colours are really good. They like I've shown before in the past. They're super good. It's a bit dusty. It's been on the shelf for a little while. I had a child. <laughs> uh, I don't get to play on the consoles as often as I would. I did originally, but. Uh, so some of the stuff's a little dusty, and some of my projects have been put into the sideline, obviously, for a while, but I've got a free afternoon, um, so I'm going to try and give this a go. Uh, what I'm gonna, not going to do is do it like on camera. Uh, I don't want to attempt to try to desolder this battery while it's being propped up and it fall over and have to worry about the camera being all, so I'm just going to do it in sections. But I'll show you before and after and that. So, yeah. Let's see how we go. So, next step. This is the CPS2 game board out of its um, metal enclosure. Now look around. This is the, the little fella that's going to be changed out. And from what I know, understand, this is, I think, the decryption um, part of it, of the game. Um but yeah, so I don't really know much about what's cracking off here, like mask roms and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, it's a really 
cool board. It's so thin and the, it's kept in really good condition. The uh, and the guy who changed the battery last did a wicked job. So hopefully I can at least get close to that and the game will carry on working. I've the battery I'm going to be replacing it with that one is this battery I bought a little while ago so I'm going to focus with everything there as you can see it's the same battery anyway same brand um, it's 3.6 let me just check 3.6 yeah it's just slightly different wrapper so now on to propping it up in a very stable manner and getting this sucker desoldered we are propped up fairly stable game is on soldering iron is on dog is in bed all right i'm gonna go for it all right so it's changed here is the new battery in place here is the old one um i had a little worry when i was changing the battery um tried my hardest not to put too much pressure on the board obviously because the thing's live and trying not to touch anything uh, also trying not to put a lot of pressure on to flex the boob the board boob the board or even to move it too much in case i don't know it kind of sometimes when you move the edge connector on this game i think the uh connector is a bit dirty or the edge, one or the other, um, the colours will change slightly. So it got me a little worried. I don't didn't want to make the board move at all in case it kind of, you know, lost power, did a short or something. Um, and when I was changing the battery, I'd taken the battery out um, and the game was still running, it's still doing its attract, mode, attract screen. Uh, the solder joint on this, well, the the pad just had a tiny little bit of solder that looked like it might get in the way of me pushing the legs through. I wanted to be just super careful, and I just cleaned that off. And I didn't even realise, but the the sound had stopped. I thought, oh no! And I looked across to the TV, and it was stuck with a Capcom logo here, which I think runs on most of the uh, attract mode. And it was saying pattern number blah 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 and it was filling the screen it just filled the screen it wasn't scrolling or anything and it was stuck there but the power was still on and the game was technically still on so i finished soldering the, the battery into place kept it all on uh trimmed the legs turned it off because obviously it's gonna have to be turned off at some point i thought oh no it's dead it's dumped um but when i turned it back on it worked um, so I just thought I'll leave it for a minute to sort of do its thing because I've just had a quick go on it and it did work but you never know it might not now I don't know so what I've done is I've set my controller up it's got its kick harness on that's the back of the uh, super gun um, that's a switch to switch between sound on the TV to sound on these RCA ports uh, pots. I don't think I've ever really shown the back of it um, because it's always been too dark. But there you go. It, I was really, I'm really proud of how it came out. <laughs> I mean, the second super gun. The first one was the real experiment, and this one's come out quite neat. So anyway, enough waffle. Hopefully that's had enough time to do its thing, and hopefully my phone will stay balanced on this point here. Okay, slight jump cut there. Hopefully. This stupid thing would not balance. Um, I've taken the power lead out now, so let's let's go. Fingers crossed. Hopefully, it's going to do it. It's a good sign. Probably shouldn't have messed with the camera. Hopefully, everything's in focus. I can't really tell. I am I haven't played this in a long time, so I'm gonna be 
awful. And if Strider is one of the first opponents, you're never going to see me get very far. But hopefully, I'll be able to do a quick game and and Strider's the first character. Brilliant. things about this game is you can bring helpers in. There we go, like Colossus and oh awesome. Oh gonna get my butt whooped. Yeah. Need to get practicing on it again. I used to be alright actually. Probably not the most interesting seeing somebody with rubbish Street Fighter skills playing, but still. Oh, you can actually see my hand a bit. And then you can see it's all, all in Japanese. I love all of the the graphics, obviously. Capcom, Capcom are brilliant. Um, the animation's amazing. I love the fact that there's the superheroes in it as well. I'm a big comic book fan, so... Change, that's it. Using me from a distance there. Guys from the forbidden, uh, forbidden planet. I can't remember. Ah, the sound of that. him a little bit with the shield it's gonna be quite a long video but i'm just wanting to actually play this a little bit um in case it does seem to die after the battery change i did have one game die on me i think because of a battery change so i had the soldering iron on for quite a while make sure everything was nice and warm nice and hot and i got a good solder um onto the oh, oh onto the solder pads so the battery went in nice and quick. Come on Arthur, give me a hand. That's it. So I'm change him out. Oh no. What you can do when you switch your character back is they go off to the side and start to heal slightly. Um, but it's never a great amount. Ah. Duh. As you can see, I'm not very good at this anymore. Say, I used to be alright, I used to be able to get to... Um... Oh, what's his name? Onslaught. In one or two credits. That was with Ryu and Zangief. I'll try that now. I don't think I'm going to get there. Oh, my God. 
tight uh, message. Ah, you see, he's gone off now and he's going to start charging. I always try too hard to pull off the super moves and I can never get him to do it when I want to. I always like it, there's two guys going at it, because they're obviously the biggest ones in the game. Oh, oh, one more credit I think, and then that'll be it. Sorry it's quite a long game, you're watching somebody not get very far. See who can we be? Oh, I used to like Spider Man. And who else? Wolverine. I'm no good with Wolverine at all. And I think he's got like a few of his moves I can't pull off. Um, Spider Man's quite weak but fast. I can't remember some of his moves now either. Jump too high. I just love like the fact that when you block a Spider-Man, you get the web, and they they really, really went to town on the characters for this game. Oh, that is such a good move. I remember I beat um, what is it? There is another fight game where it's just. It's not Children of the Atom, but it's another one, I think. And I completed that with Iron Man, which did the same move. Um, I used to choose that move quite a lot. <laughs> with the Hulk, you can't seem to stagger him, he's so powerful. Wolverine. There we go. Um, you just keep coming. Oh, you'll be able to see some of Wolverine's moves that I can't actually pull off. Ah. Before, uh, when I used to get to Onslaught with Zangief, I could actually pull off the Atomic Buster, the Super Atomic Buster. Uh, yeah, I need a lot more practice for that now, I think. Go, this is so cool. So good at getting these multiple combos. Oh, I did that, I didn't really know I did it. Awesome. So we didn't do anything. Oh crap, thought I'd done it then.
I'm doing all right, actually. Wolverine. Gosh, I want to lose now because that was my last credit. Sorry. Got me, I think. Yeah, there we go. But there we go. Um, hopefully, this was a fairly informative video. I don't know. I haven't been able to find a lot on the internet about changing these batteries. I know this video's run long. I didn't mean it to. Um, but I just wanted to have a go on that game. <laughs> I'm gonna have another go. But. Um, if this helps, <coughs> excuse me, I hate it when I cough like that. If this helps other guys with CPS one boards, uh, CPS two all in one boards, get no to change a battery if a monkey like me can do it, then uh, that's great. So, okay, thank you for watching. Cheers.